Hello friends and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what we're doing for our July bedtime basket. So if you're interested in that, stick around. All right, welcome or welcome back. If this is your first time here, I am a homeschool mom to a soon to be second grader and we love all things books, homeschool and sharing our journey with you. And if that is something that you're interested in, I would love if you hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. So for the month of June, I transitioned our basket to be a little bit day basket and a little bit bedtime basket. This month, I'm actually just going to completely put this as a bedtime basket, except for one little thing. Um, we have just really loved doing a lot of things at the bedtime hour. And for the month of July, we are minimal schooling. So she has officially finished first grade, and we are going to be starting second grade in August. So we are taking July off for the majority of the time, except for maybe a workbook page here, a workbook page there. So I don't want to completely take off the entire month because I don't want to have a ton of review come August. But like I said, really, there's just going to be very, very little. Most of it is just going to be done in the vehicle as we go to activities and library meetings and things like that. So this looks way different, in my opinion, than what it normally would. But let's get in there and see what we've got for our bedtime basket. So as I mentioned, we loved incorporating more things at bedtime and I highly recommend it. So if you know your day is crazy and you want to sneak in some learning of an evening, absolutely try this. We have been loving it so much and I showed this in our last month and this is a book that we've been using for almost a year now. It's Q&A, A Day for Kids. I love this. It's a three-year journal where you ask your child a question and you write it in the day. It is actually blank. It is actually blank, so you can add the year, so you can begin or end whenever you want. And there's just a quick question that you ask them, and then you're able to look back through the years. I think it's so cool. Like I said, we're about to catch up with ourselves. I'm really excited for that. I got this off of Amazon last year, and I've bought it as a gift quite a few times because it's just a really, really neat thing to have for your child and just to be able to look back and see how much they change from year to year. Again, you are seeing a repeat from last month because we are loving this book. We're going through each night and we're reading one or two pages every night. She loves it. We're learning a little bit of stuff. Um, ew. Yuck. I don't want to look at this. Hold on. I'm not a snake person. So here we go. Let's go to the Wolverine. Absolutely gorgeous images. Now this guy's a little bit cranky, of course, but um, I love DK books so much. I love this one. I also have the purple one, which is a little bit of everything. A little bit of animals, a little bit of like rocks and stones, a little bit of plants, um, this one is all animals. She absolutely loves animals. So this one we kind of stuck to where the purple one we were kind of coming in and out of. So I might bring that in and just only have one of these going at a time. Having two of them wasn't as appealing to her because if there was an option between this one and the other one, she was choosing the animal one. But I love this. Absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, it's quite large. And so, of course, we didn't finish it in June because there are 224 pages of these. So it will definitely last us throughout the month of July also. And we can keep working on it as we go. Then I have put the story of the world in here for the month of July. I thought this could be something that we might not do every night, but maybe read a chapter every other night so that we can kind of keep working through this a little bit because it is one that we were behind a little bit for first grade on where I had kind of anticipated us being. 
Not that it really matters because history was not a priority for me for first grade, but I thought the summertime would be a good time to kind of catch up on this and we do enjoy reading about it. It's a good story to read right before bed most of the time. More readers. So I have Nancy Drew Clue Book. This is a super short one. This is going to be like a one night, two night read here, but it's Pool Party Puzzler. Seemed like the perfect summer theme book for our bedtime basket. Another reader that is going to take us a little bit is The One Crazy Summer. Through the month of June, you actually didn't see it in the basket, but we had listened to the Penderwicks. We listened to the first one and the second one, and she really wants to go to the third one also. But I would like to read this one. So on the nights where I'm not feeling like reading for as long, we may do the audiobook of the Penderwicks. And on nights where I have a lot left in me for my voice, we will go with One Crazy Summer. Then I have just a few little readers here, just quick little books, and this is The Important Book. I got this off of the book outlet. If you haven't ever checked them out, I'll put a link down below so you can find some of my other videos for those. Another one that I picked up from the book outlet is The Umbrella. This is an honor book, which I'm excited about reading. I have never read this book, but it looks very interesting and something totally different than what we might normally read. So I picked that one up. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is one that we've had for so long. I love to bring it out during the summertime. In a few of these, I do a book rotation. And so a few of these are coming out for the month of July and into her bookshelves. And this is one of those, A Picnic in the Woods. Classic little Mickey Mouse story. I love it. It's so cute. And like I said, it always comes out in the summer. Up next is another book that is coming into the bookshelves this month. So I thought I would introduce it into the bedtime basket first. Just a very simple little scholastic book of Peppa Goes Swimming. It's summer. We're swimming a lot. Perfect book to bring in. This is a book that I picked up on the book outlet back last winter, I think, and we have not read it yet. This is The Relatives Came. We have relatives coming in July, and so I thought it would be really funny to bring this out during that month and read it and just enjoy this funny little book about the relatives visiting before ours arrive. Another book for my little animal lover is Leo the Snow Leopard. This is a true story of an amazing rescue, and I thought this would be a really fun book to just add along for the bedtime basket. Really pretty images. It's like real photography. Really neat. I think she's going to enjoy this, and we're going to be learning a little bit out of it also. This is the only thing that I would not consider bedtime material. And I just like to have one of these kind of a laying about for her to just pick up and work on whenever she wants. I have never had the Melissa and Doug one. I've gotten quite a few books like this before, but I have never gotten this one. So one thing that's different about this is that it's actually going vertical where almost all of our other ones are going horizontal. So she has liked that. She did go ahead and start one the other day right when we bought it because she thought it was very interesting. So she was working on this ox here. And so this will give you an idea of everything that they'll be able to do. And I just really, really like having these sticker number pages. I think they're just really fun to do and work on those tactile moves as well as get that number recognition. And the very last thing I have in here, which is again, a repeat from last month, because we're doing a few pages at a time to get through the summer month and then we'll put it away and bring it back out in the fall. If you didn't see my June basket where it was like half morning, half bedtime basket, I will link that down below as well as put it here. And this is just a beautiful book. We really enjoyed doing this. We've done quite a few pages, but like I said, I wanted to save it to be able to finish up for summer and then put it away. But you have all these little images that you're looking for and you spot them. Really relaxing way to kind of settle down for the night. All right, so here is our July bedtime basket. Again, 
I really, I'm a big fan of the bedtime basket. We have just absolutely loved that. And I think it's something that we will probably kind of keep in rotation even after we start school back in August. I just love having this sort of material that we can kind of work on. I'll see how using Story of the World goes of an evening. And if it goes well, I may just leave that as a solid thing throughout the year of just having history at bedtime because this part we don't do the activity book anyways we don't do the coloring page and any activity that we decide to do we could always do it the next day so I love the bedtime basket have any of you ever done a bedtime basket if you do do you have any recommendations how does it go and if you have any questions or comments put them down below hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one bye